Welcome back to the Brain Tech Center. It's Mike and it's busy. This is a January update because we've been working on One Ocean all the time. That's been all of our videos. But I've been getting lots of emails and inquiries about the Lady MT here, our Ranger Tug. And so we're getting ready to go to the Seattle Boat Show 2025. And we actually have a booth this year. It's going to be super exciting. And uh, we're going to promote all of our programming and whatnot. But the story with the, the Ranger Tug is we did repower it. We have a whole series of videos on it. It will be auctioned. This was given to us, free boat, you know. Uh, it's a wonderful donation to our program. It did need a new engine. So it's got a new engine. Um, it's got a new Victron AGM batteries. It's been looked over and gone through and the exhaust changed and stuff like that. It's got great electronics, beautiful aluminum double axle trailer this is a perfect package so what's going to happen is if you follow along on our videos we're going to see trial this next month so in one month we launch the uh one ocean project once it's out of the way we're going to get this thing launched and then we will go do sea trials and at that time we'll have a video on all the performance data how everything seems to be working out we'll put it on yacht world It'll be an auction at state property for a couple of weeks. You'll get a chance to email in bids if it's interesting to you. We're going to have an open house that we will promote where you can come and actually look at this and crawl through it if you're interested in bidding on it. And then this spring, there you go, somebody's going to end up with a beautiful new boat. So there's a lot of other things happening at the Marine Tech Center. So let's go walk around and talk about different things that all of our students are doing because we are training technicians. We've got a full house again this year. So as always, lots going on here at Marine Tech in addition to our regular classes. We're always working on kind of extra side projects and I'm standing in front of Thor, which is our, our Scallywag Club uh, sailboat. It's a little 20 foot Santana, tons of fun. Take it out, do buoy racing on Wednesday night and just cruising, but not but she needed a little bit of repair. Um, did a repair on the keel. Uh, so we have it hauled out right now and Art and the team bared it all out, added some structure, fixed that up. Um, same thing with the rudder. It needed it needed some, some fiberglass help for sure. Um, stripped off a few layers of the old ablative and we're gonna go on, smooth it out, go on with a nice fresh coat. Give us that advantage in the racing season to start this spring. Um, what else are we doing? Oh, some repairs to the mast. There was a dent in the mast that was kind of scaring us. So we're putting some structure on side of that, a Band-Aid, if you will, a um, couple new halyards and getting a new sail for it, which is really gonna make this thing go because we've never actually had a Genoa for it. So we're excited about that. Um, lots of good stuff, working on uh, kind of upgrading our electric outboard for it too. So we'll show you more and all that stuff as it comes along, but lots happening. All right, well, over here in the propulsion lab, Lots going on. So uh, I've got my, my Marine Engines 1 class and my drivetrains class happening right now. It's kind of my favorite meat and potatoes of the whole program on the propulsion side. Um, so doing tons with our diesel and gas engines inboards. Um, students are digging in deep. We're in week four right now. So it's fuel systems. There's diesel everywhere. Everyone's going home stinking with stains on them. It's fantastic. Um, along with that, we're doing drivetrains. Uh, currently students are taking apart um, our nice collection of little mechanical transmissions. We've got a couple small hydraulic ones for students to check out as well. Uh, that's been fantastic. Um, so nonstop here, nonstop, lots of good stuff getting going on. Uh, removing propellers and lap fitting propellers this week. Uh, students are gonna always enjoy that. And uh, engines keep on going. So we're having a lot of fun here. So much fun. Shall we check out electrical? Yeah. All right, so, Professor, yeah, tell us. Electrical 2, favorite part of the program here for us. Is last quarter, they did all things DC, gauges, stuff like that, bilge pumps. This quarter, AC, hallway switches, outlets, shore generator switches. We got hull inlets, um, panel, sub panel. We're putting in inverters. Um, students are just starting to finish building a boat. And then in electronics class, we got all sorts of stuff. They are going to be doing VHF radios. They're going to be doing multifunction displays, GPS, the whole works. So we'll have electronics on here. So this is a true working boat. All right, noisy in here. Let's head out to One Ocean and see what's going on on that project. 
One of the other things we we do here in our spare time, we got to take care of the sailing fleet. So the Waterfront Alliance and Accordus supports the youth sailing. So all of our high school and middle school sailing teams, this boat got T-boned and there's a big crack in it. We epoxied and fixed it all up, but we can't really match the old gel coat. We can't really paint. We have a thing at Marine Tech. If you can't hide it, then you might as well highlight it. So we made a mold, we're gonna clean this up. We made ourselves a Band-Aid out of fiberglass and we're gonna glue this and paint it over the hull. So we'll have a nice little, little accent here on the sailing boat. We're gonna fix the top, clean it up and paint it as well. So fun projects everywhere. Okay, last thing here. Most of our videos have been about one ocean. Just so you know, in another week or so after the boat show, we'll get updated. But bow thruster wiring, um, inverter wiring, changing the uh, where some of the electrical stuff goes. We mounted a water maker panel. Uh, the last four chain plates are going in that we had to have made. So lots and lots of work happening on, on this boat. And uh, it's on track to be launched end of February. So that's gonna be a great day with an open house. So thanks for watching and checking this out. If you're interested in the Lady M as we talked about earlier, Stay tuned, we're gonna put it in the water and do some sea trials. Welcome to the Scallywags, located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, where Skagit Valley College has been training technicians since 1968. If you are looking for industry certification and the skills to work in maritime, this is the place to visit. Our staff will share so much knowledge and experience, you will not be disappointed. The workforce, demand is very high and all of our graduates are working around the world. If this sounds interesting to you, schedule a tour and come check us out.